Welcome to my YouTube channel, Z Gaming. But before we dive into that, let me share something that will grab your attention. Have you ever wonder why your Dragon Knight not doing any damage or die so fast? If so, you are in the right place because today, I am going to show you how to use Laika, the Fire Dragon Knight. But first, if you are new here, let me introduce myself. I'm Zid and on this channel, currently I'm doing content related with Summoner Wars Chronicle. I'm passionate to explore and study the game mechanism and love sharing my knowledge with you. Now, let's jump into the content. In this video, we'll cover about Laika skill set, how to use Laika and suitable rune set for him. I have carefully crafted this information to make you guys understand his kit and playstyle so you can use him to his max potential. Okay, let's jump and see my Laika start. First, my Laika attack is around 4.9k, defense 2.9k, HP 61k, critical rate 84k, critical damage 260, accuracy is not important even though he have a stun kit in his second skill, if I'm not wrong, or first skill. Later, we will confirm it. Then, other is a not important stat. Okay, his basic attack is only basic attack with good number. It's not so bad, 165 as a brawler. Then, let's see his second skill. Oh, I mean his first skill. Just this. This is his main kit in his skill set. With mana cost 3, cooldown 80 second. Attack the enemy, target with Blazing Fury and recovery its HP. So, he will attack with a good damage formula. And drain 50% of the damage. And it's always attribute advantage. So this is the reason why Laika is very strong. Any element attribute he eating, he will always have an advantage. Mean he will get extra 10 critical rate and more damage. So let's see second skill. Dragon Fang, cooldown 24 seconds, mana cost 4. But no need to see about the mana cost because we're not going to spam this skill using as a soling. This skill we will active automatically by unsoling Laika. So remember that this skill must use as a cooldown, not with mana cost. Have a good formula damage. Ignore the target. Uh, ignore target damage mitigation effect. 70% rate of stun, 3.5. So this is we lack, we let's uh, luck to get the stun because we have a low accuracy and we don't need it as a main stun. So this skill will provide shield equal to 50% and damage of the damage deal for a second. So this skill is must unsold link to active it. And it's important also for his survivability because of his passive. So let's go to his passive. Noble Blood. So he the passive is restrict damage taken 12% of max HP when hit by skill 30% rate to counter using justice one time. If shield disappear after taking damage, immunity for 10 seconds. So once the shield remove or disappear, he will get free immunity for 10 seconds. So this will make Laika can survive longer. Okay. The ultimate Dragon Fang, if you using him as a damage dealer, then this is the ultimate you must use. It has very good damage formula and it's a AoE damage. So ignore damage reduction effect, drain 35 of damage. 
is a AoE. When attacking, attribute advantage also. Stun for 3.5 second is 100%. Shield equal to 50% of damage deal from 8 second. So we get bigger shield. This is very good, very strong ultimate. If you using him as a only DPS. Okay, let's jump to the video. I will explain how to use Laika. As you know, Laika is very OP to counter Panda. The reason why is when Panda use the AOE skill, the Laika will spam the first skill counter offensively. As you can see, now see, my Laika, my Laika is actually unsolding, but it keep using the skill. Okay, that's the reason. Then you will collect the mana until 10 or 9. And the best partner for Laika is a Juno. Soling Juno to emergency heal or another good partner is Aril. As you can see, I will use them to make my Laika survive longer. But the best is Juno because when he healing or he strip, your summoner will gain more mana. We need Laika to have around 9 mana to at least kill one monster instantly with spamming his first skill okay as you can see he keep using justice counter because of the panda now i will show you why his first skill justice is very op he can kill see his ultimate damage instantly kill panda and the juno okay let's jump to the second video another arena battle i will show you how to you like a first skill to settle the enemy as you can see my Laika aim the wind lady with one hit then keep countering the orbia and i will keep using juno to maintain my Laika hp at the same time maintaining the mana i will not spam my skill unnecessary because the juno job is to remove the debuff heal and maintain the mana so when i can use laika ultimate then clear enemy lower the enemy hp after that using his first skill to spam to settle remaining monster as you see laika is more about timing and to have a good partner to make him sustain then only laika will shine if you have any question regarding laika you can leave comment below I will try to answer the best with knowledge I have. I'm sorry if my English is bad and my pronunciation is bad. This is my first video. And even my camera video was corrupted. So I will try my best to improve in next video. Thank you for watching this video and being part of our community. I hope you found this video valuable and that it's helped you to build your Laika stronger or to help consider to pull Laika before banner over this week. If you have any question or suggestion for future videos, please let me know in the comment below. Remember to click like and subscribe button and share the video to your friend and community that also plays Summoner War Chronicle. I am appreciate your support and look forward to see you in the next video. Stay healthier, stay longer, better life. Bye.